Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded Dead God Plus series. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm in a good mood today, so I'm gonna sing a bit. Why not? Forgotten, we did, we've did. done Forgotten recently. Tainted Blue Baby, there's someone that's a little new. Also with the, the slightly new, kind of new. Where the hell is he? Um, slightly new devil deal changes. He's kind of fun, let's give him a go. Um, and poop it up a little bit. Get a little bit poopy. We did get, uh, I don't know why I held that there, that was not my intent. Um, we did get, ooh, look at their little dippy boys. The, um, what, what am I on about? We did get what? What, what? what did we get, me? What did we get? Because I don't remember any of anything that I was trying to talk about there. We got something, I don't know what. Something, I guess. I, I, I honestly have no idea what I was about to say there. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I'm in a good mood today. I've just been, just, just, just been out on a nice little walk. Well, I said a little walk. I've been out for like two hours. Um, I have uh, done something that some of you may find a bit cringe. Um, I've been playing Pokemon Go again. I don't know why. I played it a lot when it first came out, which was like five or six years. Oh my God. Yeah, I was like pretty much guaranteed to hit me. I did not. I don't have the movement speed for this. This is bullshit. Already lost a heart. Um... Yeah, um, I uh, I played it a lot when it first came out. Uh, I, I really enjoyed it. It was just a nice way to like get out and do stuff, especially during the summer when it was warm and it was like worth playing. Um, and then I just kind of forgot about it. And didn't play it again for a while. I'm actually really happy with this. This is a pretty good, uh, pretty good grab, just because this this can do some pretty cool stuff now. It can re-roll into uh, lots of different types of poop and all that sort of good st good stuff. I did just burp there. I apologize. Um, yeah, and I, I just kind of like, I was like, do you know what? I need to get out a little more. I'm, as I said in the previous episodes, I'm trying to lose a bit of weight and stuff. So I was like, I should get out a little bit more. Um, so, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Can I just do this and then boom and then boom? There you go. Um, yeah, I tried to get out a little bit more, do more stuff. And I was like, meh, Pokemon Go seems like a relatively weak good way to do that. And I'm living in a different city now. So there's like whole new stops and areas to go. It's a lot more engaging to play where I now live because there's just more to do. Um, well, <laughs> I just wasn't expecting that uh, that attack whatsoever there. That, that scared the bejeebus out of me. Okay. Um, yeah, and I, I don't know, I'm just having a good time. It's a bit cringy. I know a lot, not a lot of people play it nowadays. It kind of fell off quite badly, but I don't know, I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. There's a park near me. It's got a bunch of poker stops and I just spent about two hours in the park. And it's, it's like, it was just a really fun little walk. I had a real good time. I had a real good time. Um, and I don't think anyone can judge me for that. Oh my god. Anyways, as for the question of the day, this is kind of an odd one. The question is, if, if you want, like, if there was, oh, Flyboy's kind of interesting here, especially on floor one. Um, oh god. There's some facial issues going on there. Oh, Lord, there's some weird glitchy face. Also, I, n I no longer have a walking animation. This is strange. Um, yeah, this may sound like a bit of a weird one, but I, this is not to say that I'm going to, but I'd just be interested. If you could see me play one game on the channel, what would it be? What would be your, like, pièce de résistance? What would be, like, the one thing you'd absolutely love to see me play? I'd just be interested to hear, because, like I said, it, I, it's not that I'm going to go out and play all these. I mean, I just don't have the time. I already have a lot of series going. I have, um, like, daily series and stuff like that, so it is difficult, but what would it be? This may have been a terrible idea. Um, wait a minute. I don't know. Was that a terrible idea? That, that's, that's got potential for a terrible idea. Okay, you stop firing these. That room has uh, it's got a bit of sauce to it, I think. Well, that's one good thing out of that room. That is Giant Boulder, which is a pretty swifty, swanky little damager. And we'll do that as well. Oh god, it released a fly. And then we can grab that and that. Do you know what? This is this is what I mean. The new D12, actually very, very good. I like it. I like it. It can create some pretty interesting situ- Aw, oh, wations. God damn it. Okay, remember we do have two bosses here. It's likely that at least one will be eternal. Damn you, bastard. Try and utilize this. Getting that huge damage up just then is uh, a huge boon to our success. I don't know why I decided to throw that one at him. 
That was pretty silly of me. Stop throwing the bombs at this guy. You can't. It doesn't work. It does not work. More flies for me, please. Go get him. Yeah, huge boulder's a huge grab. Huge boulder, huge grab. That's not such a huge grab, but we'll take it anyways. And then we got Dingle Dangle here. Oh, ho, ho. that was a meaty explosion. This, this guy we can definitely get a bomb off on. And we got this. I'll grab it. Ah, oh, it's always sad when you don't get any special coins. Right. Um, okay, so I did forget that the blue baby buff doesn't actually work for this guy. <laughs> um, so unfortunately, I was completely incorrect and should have just gone angel deal. I keep thinking that the, the, the devil deal buff works for both versions of blue baby. It doesn't. Um, so I have to decide. I'm just going to eat some carrot sticks here real quick. I'm just going to decide. Is this a good idea? Probably not, right? Let's turn now to that. Uh, let's go this way. A little bit upset that I potentially locked myself into devil deals accidentally there. Oh, carrot sticks are on fleek. Very good. I'm kind of like just at the tail tail end of finishing my lunch here. I've not quite finished it. But I thought I'd start an episode anyways, because I'm just in a good mood and want to. But I'm, I'm happy with this episode nonetheless. We've got some good stuff going on. Set the water on fire. I would love a key to get in there, but... Oh, Dom, back that way. Um... Oh, it's gone. <laughs> I will, however, blow up... No, I was going to say I was gonna say I'll blow up my mirror for reflected item chance, but I actually don't think I want reflected items as this character. Trading HP for stuff isn't great. God, I really hope we get something that changes our costume pretty soon, because this flyboy business is uh, not so great. It's looking very, very glitchy. It's obviously because it's not intended to, like, visually work with Blue Baby. Come on, flies. There you go. I'll try and save my holy poop for something that's actually, like, it's something that's actually useful for, but... The, t the tale will tell if we actually end up getting to do that. Range down is, is whatever, especially considering this character starts with pretty decent range. Um, I will do this. It's a, maybe a waste of a bomb, but if we might get into our shop, that could be pretty useful. I think this is our use case for this. Potentially bigger room with a lot of enemies. Is that it? No, okay. Not a ton of enemies, but just a few. Ah, no item to give me. Come on, game. Give me a key. Just one would be nice. Or just a room full of rocks so I can actually re-roll some rocks here. That'd also be kind of good. These little eyes. We can utilize this just about. There you go. And we got the sugar-coated pill. Upon using a pill... All pills of that type will be turned into full health for the rest of the run. The trinket is consumed on pill use. That sounds kind of interesting. So, not that full health is useful, but we can turn a bad pill into a good pill. So, we don't really want to use it yet, I'll say that. Oh, I knew that, bo I knew that bomb had a potential chance to hit me, but I wasn't sure if it would. It did. Didn't get Devil Deal, still no keys, and unfortunately, very few ways around that. Um, we don't even have any ways of getting any bombs right now. Hmm. I think we're pretty much stuck in the water here. I use that here so you can get anything out of it. Sadly not. Yeah. Big sad on our behalf there. Big sad on our behalf. I didn't think about the fact that I could have just used the mirror room. Uh, do you know what? Um, I should maybe... This is a bit risky, but I should maybe utilize this. I could have, like, not wasted a bomb here. But I should utilize this to do the alternate floors to try and get a bomb. That was close. Almost walked right into that fire. Yeah, I should try and get a bomb um, or a key from completing the mirror, mirror room stuff. I think that's probably a good call. 
I should also maybe go in here and see what we get. Okay, whatever that was is now a full health. Soul Heart's pretty nice. We have to go back though now. It does annoy me when you go into the cash room, it's a combat room. Now I have to go back to the white fire. I just don't want to waste this floor. You know what I mean? I just don't want to waste this floor. But yes, yeah, going back to the question of the day, I just think it'd be interesting to know what games you guys would really like me to play. Because, like, I'm sure, like, at the minute, I've not really got the space to schedule new games on my channel. But I'm sure there's a few that I can maybe stream, or even just I could keep them in mind for the future, especially if multiple people, if there's, like, one top comment that a load of people have upvoted. Because it doesn't have to be roguelikes. It can be any game that you guys would like to see me play. It should be interesting. Um, okay. Right, so just try and utilize our poops to the best of our ability here on rooms like this. Um, there's a key. That's a really good start. It's a really good start. And what what else have we got here? There you go. I love that room. <laughs> so satisfying to kill them that way. More poops. We also got a bomb here as well. There you go. Didn't mean to do that. Whoopsie. Okay, stay away. Didn't realize there'd be more enemies in this room. I forgot. Need petrified poop here. Hold that. Make sure we keep that. Okay. Just do these easy rooms the way they're intended. And just hope for the best. But yeah, like, there's a bunch of games that I've thought about playing on the channel and I've had, like, inklings of. There's a bunch of games that I've tried playing on the channel and had, uh, unfortunately, like, very bad reception to. There's, like, be there's been quite a few in the past where I've been like, oh, everyone will love this game and I've played it. It's just done really, really poorly. Like, I did, I tried, I've tried Dead Cells in the past. I've tried Rogue Legacy in the past. I've tried a bunch of different things. And some of them just fall flat, unfortunately. I mean, even Revita. I was really excited for Revita. Um, that's a series I was, like, really hoping would do very well. And it unfortunately did incredibly poorly on the channel. Like, it should have done way, way better than it's doing right now. I'm still going to upload it every now and again. I'll take triple shot. Why not? Um, like, it, it just should have done a lot better than it's doing. One minute. Let me pause. Right, let's continue onwards. Yeah, um, I gotta say, it, it should have done theoretically a lot, lot better than it did. And now, now, like, my last episode, like, last week, like, 100 views. And it's like, that's the, the, I'm, I'm still happy with 100 views. But based on my current channel's, like, trending of views and stuff, it should have got a way more than that. And it's just a little sad to see sometimes. Sometimes you're, like, really excited to play a particular game. And it just, it just doesn't perform. It just doesn't do well. And it's like, that, that, that that's just YouTube. It is what it is. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a little sad. Anyways, let's uh, move on to the next floor and carry on going. But yeah, managing a triple shot here, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. We got a good selection of poops here. Also, we got some speed from Flyboy. Flyboy gives us basically incremental stat increases each floor, and then eventually gives us flight. Or I think it, I think it gives us the BLs of transformation. I don't remember the exact uh, rate at which we get everything. I'll check that now, actually. We go to our encyclopedia, inventory. So, stage one, we got damage and tears. Then we get damage and tears and speed. Then we get damage and tears and speed again, which I think we're already on stage three at this point. Um, and then on stage four, we get damage, tears, and um, Grant's mulligan. Five uh, is that, yeah, it's, it's a very good item. The earlier you get it, the better. That's the only caveat. Like, it's pretty good if you get it late. It's very good if you get it early. And we did get it early, so. We definitely need the tiers increases that it's uh, saying it will provide for us, so. By the way, the, the descriptions on the, uh, the Dead Sea Scrolls thing that I just showed off there can sometimes be wrong. So just kind of be aware of that. A little bit sad that that's an active. They can sometimes be wrong, might, they might be a little out of date, so that it might have changed since then, because I haven't actually seen our tears go up, so I feel like that might be incorrect right now. That was stupid. I kind of did a back-forward walk there, trying to avoid that and walk right into it. Also, this floor better give me an angel beetle. Oh, 
Oh, the, 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 he hit the dip and like changed direction. Oh, petrified poop. There it is. There it is. There it is. We've been waiting for that. We have been waiting for that all our life. Oh, Lord. Oh, my God. The glitchy face is like really like sketching me out. It's really horrible to... I got hit by that. Really sketching me out. Okay, I'm on low health now. I just got hit by a champion for a full heart. So I, I can't even take a devil deal if one is presented to me. So I really, really need this to not be a devil deal. I got a bit of poison on him. Keep forgetting I can use the stone poops as cover. Yes, it was an angel deal. Good. We needed that. And honestly, a pretty good one. 9% chance to drop... Um... Oh, wait. Upon damage. That's upon us getting damage. Okay, that's pretty terrible. Um... Yeah, that's, that's not very good. I will waste my bombs here and try and get some soul hearts. I only got one, but I'm actually pretty happy with one. And we need to go back and get our item room. Yeah, this glitchy flyboy thing is, is is sketching me out hard. It's so it's just it just doesn't look good at all. Um We'll try and use our D12 more to get some more uh, bits and bobs here and there. I mean we could even use it in a room like this. It can even spawn buttons, as you can see. But yeah, the amount of poops it should spawn is like a, another big positive for us potentially with petrified poop now. I'm on half a heart. <laughs> oh, God. Look up. There's a good chance I die right here. I'm having a really hard time staying away from these guys as well. Okay, one of them's dead. Don't know what's going on with the other one. Made it out of that alive. I just keep hurting myself over and over and over again with various means. Almost always self-inflicted damage, but... Don't you even dare, shit boy. Right, I'm really hoping this shop contains a soul heart. It does. It also contains this, which is intriguing. I feel like I have to take this now, because D12 with the uh, electric dice doesn't really do much for us. I'll give this a reroll and see what we get. I'm just kind of rerolling in the hopes of another soul heart, I'll be honest. Come on, soul heart, please. You bastard of a game, why are you like this? You want to give me one now? It didn't. Okay. Right, yeah, I think I have to leave. The, the, the D12 does have a lot of power, but I think the coupon for potential devil deals and shops being potentially multi-use if we uh, proc electric dice could be very incredible. Could be very, very incredible. So I'll stick with it. But this this run isn't isn't looking so hot right now, I've got to admit. It isn't looking so hot for us. Item room. Still haven't seen it yet. Okay, that should kill a lot of these guys. Good. Get poisoned. Ooh, a horse pill. The double are you a wizard? Isn't that like a minute of Are You a Wizard? That's going to be fun. I mean, we've got staple, so we can only shoot out of one eye, which does make things a little easier. Okay. Yeah, it, it makes things slightly easier because we can actually fire on one diagonal, but it's still not great. Oh my god, three bombs.
I'm actually just going to use the extra bomb as well. I'm going all bombs on this guy. Slows down all of you, 50% making the leave. Nah, I'm pretty happy with what we got going on here. That was scary. <laughs> For a hot minute there, that was really scary. Eh, rubber baby. He's chill. Rubber baby's kind of chill. Right. Head away back. Arcade, I will check just to try and bomb some stuff. Rubber Baby does give us an out for Are You A Wizard right now as well. That went okay as well. Right, I'm going to go back to the shop here and see if we can maybe coupon some stuff. Thinking maybe the coupon might be the way forward here. Because we can like re-roll with a re-roll machine, so... Oh wait, the reroll machine's gone. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Ignore me. Although, is that the auction gavel? It is. Okay, that went well. <laughs> I'm actually going to take... I know that I, 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 I hyped up... What's it called there? Um, I hyped it up, made it sound real good. And then I'm just going to bugger off and leave it. But auction gavel can be pretty good. I will say auction gavel, we need, we need a lot more money than we currently have to make it work. So we're going to have to save up a little bit. But it can be very lucrative. Essentially, it spawns an item uh, from the item pool that you're currently in at a sort of raised cost. The cost raises slowly over time. I don't think I need to do that. The cost raises slowly over time, and um, once uh, like, and, and you just gotta try and buy it quickly. Essentially, it's 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 a, it's a pretty interesting little item. Not a fan of this. Yeah, it's a pretty interesting little item. I like it. I do wonder what will happen if I use my auction gavel within that room, though. I wonder if I can spawn angel deals or if it will spawn boss room. Uh, spawn one of every type of beggar. Don't do that in this room. Do that in this room. And I think best course of action here is probably just to go like that. See what happens. I think overall I'm reasonably happy. Oh, there was a maggot there that I didn't see. I think I'm reasonably happy with the outcome of that, to be honest. Still need more health coming our way. Do you know what I've been doing as well recently? I've been re-watching back through Stranger Things. That's been enjoyable. I really like Stranger Things, and the new season is starting uh, really soon, like in a few days for me. Probably already out for you guys. Um... And yeah, I'm going to say I'm just kind of watching back through. And there's just so much of it I don't remember. I, I like, I'm, I'm re-enjoying it again. It's it's nice. It's been so long since I've like re-watched the first season. I'm just having a really good time re-experiencing everything. There's just so many parts of it I just do not remember. Okay, just fart on this guy a little bit. Okay, so this should be the money that we need. There you go. That off steam sale would have been fine. This is going to be the money that we need to... Uh, make auction gavel work and now the question is do i take the safe route and pop auction gavel um what is that the stars ooh, 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 ooh. although that room is flyboy i i actually do think that removing flyboy would be a very bad idea also why is that fire rate so low i swear i had one fire rate earlier this is a very tough room i died um <laughs> that room was tough anyways we start again i guess I've been having a few of these recently, haven't I? I've been having a few of these runs where I'm just not doing very well. And it's not even, like, due to the eternal enemies or anything. But then again, I suppose it kind of is in a way. Because it's like, they, they can... The threat of them is a bit scary. And, like, I'm not using my donation machines. I'm not getting as many boss items and stuff. So, I guess the, the sort of direction I've taken the series is leading to that a little more. And I'm not totally displeased with that. It is a little annoying that I am doing so unfathomably bad though. Like I'm dying really early on. Fairly often. Having these flies be extra fast is also a problem. Oh god. Um, Flatstone. Flat, Flatstone's one of those items that on its own it's, it's really not anything. You get a, a tiny bit of splash damage and it's visually pretty interesting. But it does kind of have itself the advantage of leading to some pretty cool synergies little annoying that I got hit there yet again. Do 
you know what? Just just slap a bomb in there. M mainly to get these pennies, but otherwise just to open up the room a little bit. Almost got hit again there. Oop, you've, you've uh, rebirthed. And you've rebirthed as well. God damn you. It's okay. Wasn't so hard. We got ourselves a red heart there. Reflected. I don't really care about that. We got ourselves a good selection of uh, of bombs and stuff here too. Good selection of poops. I may didn't utilize the poops to the best of my ability in that last one either. Oh god. I pressed the wrong one. I think there's two soul hearts here. Yeah. Whoa. There was more than two. There was quite a few there. Um, I'm going to do that as well. No, yeah, not quite sure what that was about, but I'm happy about it nonetheless. Right, Ragman, you're eternal. Dude, I always forget how the stupid... What on earth was that? I always forget how the stupid bloody fire poops work. Don't blame me. Took a lot of damage there that I shouldn't have. We're obviously not prepared for the alt path. Let's just go regular path. I'm hitting myself so much. More carrot sticks for me. To calm my nerves. That did work. I was like, is that going to hit him? I don't actually know. But I'm going to gamble. And it did. We also do have an eternal worm about. I think I will try and bomb him if I get the opportunity. He's not in a great spot to do so right now. Now he is. There you go. And of course it destroyed two pots that released four spiders. Always the way during combat. Outside of combat, nah nah nah. Nothing. Inside of combat, here's all the spiders. Taking damage. Ooh, that's actually kind of good. And spawning eternal hearts in pairs too. Pretty good, pretty good. Okay, poison should hopefully destroy their entire kingdom. And then all we've got left is a few pesky bald guys. Bald guys are always pesky. Right, we got a chest there maybe? No. I heard, a, I heard a something drop in the room, but I don't think it was anything. I think I'm just stupid. And there you go, another poison. The poison is doing a very, very solid job here. I'm just hoping we get something cool that works with Flatstone. Does technology work with Flatstone? That would be kind of cool. Although we've been getting technology a lot recently, haven't we? I think technology is an item that I've been surprised at how often we've been getting it. Uh, don't need to go in there. Get that there. I'm just going to set up a corner here. Just so, like, as these guys take the apex. Ooh, petrified poop early this time as well. So as these guys take the apex of that corner, you can get an easy hit. Oh, not all three. Oh, wait. I said all three. There's way more than three. This room is always really familiar to me because when we were doing um, the charity event where we did it, where we all tried to speed run the seed uh, that BD1B hosted, this room was like one of the first rooms in the seed, and so it's kind of stuck with me. Oh, come on, dude. Get out of here. We've also got a haunted dude there, too. Come on, give us death certificate. It gave us a soul heart. I can actually say it's comparable. Death certificate or a soul heart. I know what I want. Right. Good, good. Eternal versions. These guys, from what I remember, the eternal versions of these dudes aren't so bad. Essentially, they're the same, but the release shots whenever they charge. Didn't even get a chance to show us. This time, we will not enter the devil deal and save ourselves some hassle. Shan't we? No! They always spawn red hearts, so I just left and it was a black heart. The biggest sad... To ever sad. The biggest sad to ever sad. My lord. Where is a, a black hole shaped heart? Oh, by, a black heart shaped hole in my heart is what I was trying to say there, but that just came out real weird. Okie dokie. Oh, we got another one of these, which we've actually got a bit more health for this time, so it might, might be slightly more applicable. Definitely want to get that guy deaded. And I'll save my fiery, uh, my fiery poop of fury for that, this actual fight here coming up. What have you got for me? 
Scapula. Oh baby, Scapula is terrible. Get gone. That enemy can get gone. Cool room design, but these enemies can chew on my booty. Chew on my juicy cheeks, because I don't give a damn about them. Right, um, keep moving on. Our character's looking pretty crazy this time as well, and at least we're not glitching out like the flyboy. The flyboy glitching was a, a little distracting, I have to say. And one last hit for you. I'll wait until this has produced three flies before I leave. Shot speed up actually with Flatstone can could be kind of good. Hey, Skitty Puddle. Oh, the Skitty Puddle got me. <laughs> but at least we produce uh, ghosts now. What makes you small is also kind of nice. <gasps> Do not press. I love this item because it's meant to be a really low chance. In fact, does it actually say, state the chances? Um, 11%. It's meant to be 11%. Let's see how 11% it is for me. Because 11% for me is more like 95%. I get it in so many of my rooms, it's kind of insane. And I walk right into that, dude. Honestly, we get so much value out of being hit that I don't even mind. <laughs> you get so many ghosts. That is insane. We just got Mask of Infamy completely randomly. Completely randomly. That is nutty. How lucky is that? Mask of Infamy is great to get for us here. That's probably going to save our life on numerous occasions. Too many times to count. But that's uh, that's our first room without a button. How many will we go? There's our first button. That's one, this floor. Then, sadly not two. But for, honestly though, it's, it, it is like, I get it like every one in three rooms. It's kind of like a 30 odd percent chance for me rather than 11. I just tend to get it a lot more often than I should. It's not, it's not 90%, but I do get it a lot. Ooh, D-Stock. D-Stock is potentially very good. I will take it because it is potentially very good. Okay. Take care of you guys. I'm just going to throw a bomb at one of you. I don't know which one of you is the one that's already on low health, but I picked right. I picked correctly. Let's get that down. A table frail? No, just normal frail. Right, di dive right into this. Damn it. I wanted to dive right into the creep. Yes, that does a ton of damage. You're brimstoning, and you're doing the, the most horrible version of your brimstoning, the one that's very hard to dodge. Oh, I, I, God damn it, shouldn't have got hit there. I do love this boss, though. This boss design's really cool. Kind of wish there was more bosses like this. Angel deal. Right, let, let's... I don't know, is there any of these we might want to take in with us? Confessional... Immaculate Hearts, very nice. I'll take it. I guess I could do Mega Satan. Why not? That's just me getting hit because I'm dumb. Okay. I did manage to light my poop on fire here. Okay, that went... Oh, there's a bit. the baby's still alive. Holy hell, that scared me. This doesn't do anything in this room, does it? No, I had to try to see if D-Stock worked on Angel deals for some reason, even though it's not a shop. I, I just had a feeling it might work. That was so dumb. You know what I was trying to do there, don't you? I was trying to get a fart pod, like, cloud set up to bomb it. Ended up just bombing myself. If someone could make a mod that removes that feature, that'd be awesome. <laughs> I, I realise it's part of the character, but it, it does wholeheartedly annoy the hell out of me. It very much does. Um, trying to think of a good place to use this Ace of Wands. I, I think I'm just going to go for a combat room and use it in there. Ace of Wands. 
Ace of Wands. You like to see it. Good, good. Right. Then, I think, out of all of these, we're going to carry this down with us, right? Okay. Ace of Diamonds can be very good. Immaculate Heart, he was pretty great. Kind of like the, the, the slightly weaker Sacred Heart. Also, these Wisps having these is going to be kind of useful. Two of them have already been destroyed. But they protect me from getting hit, so can't complain. I thought that hit both of them, but sadly not. We also do get these orbiting ones, which for some reason are orbiting at just redonkulous heights. I don't know why they're orbiting so high up. Sadly no homing here for us. Check this out real quick. Libra. Libra, Libra, Libra. I've got to take it. It's such a bad idea. My damage went down. My fire rate went up a good amount. My, my, my fire rate went up a good amount. I'll take it. Uh, mainly, I'm thinking Libra's good for this. Also, Solar Lilith here. Just because we get an all stat stuff while sending on this now. Seems kind of good. I don't know how good that is, actually. Fire rate and damage is already enough, really. Solar Lilith. Be good. Be good to me. Be good to me. It was okay to me. It wasn't good to me. It was okay to me. That spider survived that? Are you kidding me, Captain? Are you kidding me? Get here, little lassie. Hey, that's that's what I'm looking for. L-shaped room to use my Ace of Diamonds. Obviously, it depends on how many enemies are in the L-shaped room. Not all L-shaped rooms have a ton of enemies. But a lot of them do. This is not one we want to be using it in. In fact, mm, right, one minute. Kill these dudes first in the middle. Stop getting hit by everything like an absolute goober. What am I doing? There is a potential world in which this works. If my ghosts would stop killing everything, please. I really don't want you to kill these little jumpy dudes. Right, can the ghosts like die, please? Come on, I'm, I'm slowly waiting here. You guys start producing some fellas. Okay. That should have given us a good amount of money. That should have given us a good amount of money. Fair amount. Fair amount. I kind of had to play that a little slow to get what I wanted. By the way, do note that I've also wasted all my health once again here. I'm on very low health, pretty much again. Oh my god, it's a, it's, it's a hard life. Tainted blue baby, it's a hard life. I can't only use my holy poop, but I think we're close to the boss. Let's try and save it, ooh. Thank you, thank you, infamy. Save my life. Good. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. I am almost certain that this is my secret room. With petrified poop, this could be pretty good. Do you know what? A soul heart is already very, very good. Oh, ho, ho, ho. there you go, baby. There you go. I think that's a normal red heart, but I'm going to have to check. It is. The map tells all. My immortal heart is going to make me accidentally destroy this, this hyper poop. It is. There you go. What are you doing right now? What's what's going on with your uh, your balls of fury? Okay, I think I like this guy better than the normal version. The fact that he just, like, the balls don't chase you as often. 
Or, or maybe not at all. I can't figure that out yet, but... Yeah, I like that guy way better. Check the devil deal. I don't even think we check it. I'd like to go to my shop, please. Yeah, I'm not sure what to think. We've got some good stuff going on. Unfortunately, I've been let down by my kill switches. I thought I'd be getting way more of them by now. It might just be that I'm missing. I guess it might just be that I'm missing them, but no. They stay there when you, even when you clear the room, so that's not the case. That's just me making up excuses. Right, shop is over here. Dude, come on. You should be dead by now. D-stock here could be helpful. We'll see. I think extra trinket space is pretty valuable. Charges activate me even if the room doesn't contain any enemies. Gives additional charges depending on the trinket multiplier. Interesting. BFF. BFF's one of those ones where I don't think it's that good now, but it could be so good later. So I'll take it. I can't tell whether that's a red heart or not, so I'm not going to grab the reflected yet. Okay, that's definitely a soul heart. I'll grab that. And then... I think I want to do this. Okay, now. Question is, do I buy King Baby? Do I... I'm going to grab doubled car battery, I think, actually, and try and get a better active. Because if car battery stacks, which I, I, I feel like I found out before that it doesn't, but I still like car battery. I was going to use the Harlequin baby on the, um, on the upgrader, the sewing machine, but yeah, I feel like we found out before that car battery doesn't stack. I think we've had this exact situation before, but if there's, if there's even a small chance it does, I'm, I'm down to clown. I'm down to try it out. Anyways, I think we're about ready to leave this floor. Munching on some carrot sticks once again. It was a very chilled episode. Very chilled. Despite the anguish. Despite the anguish. The pain. The fury. Of losing another run. Nah. I'm actually kind of happy we're losing runs. It's kind of like... Yeah. It makes some of the episodes shorter. Or some of them longer in this case. But... For me... It's kind of fun to actually have more challenge involved. Not start a run, even with bad items, and just be like, I know I'm going to win. Which is essentially what the vanilla game had become. And the modded game, even more so. The only reason I didn't get big streets going on the modded run is because almost always I'd lose a run or die to some sort of bug. That was fun. Do you know what I want? Dull Razor. Dull Razor would be pogged out of its heckin' mind right now. It'd be so good. Stop hitting me in bullshit ways, game. This is precarious. I don't know how I've not been hit yet. I will open this up and just check it out. Yeah, that's kind of why. Oh, nice. BFF works my little dip buddies, my little poop fellas. Whenever we pick up red hearts. Pretty nice. My dirty man buddies. Hey, that's a good amount of money there. Now, question is, question is, we are in a shop. We are in a shop, sir. So, yes. <laughs> I was like, will this work? Uh, Genie's lamp isn't all that good. I think I'll buy this and this. Which is an 8-room charge, so... Ow. Stood a bit too close there. Hey, get a charge even when there's no enemies in the room. That's a really good little, uh, little item there. Refresh again. I think we buy this. That's pretty good going, that. I like that. Now, give me some death buttons. I've been waiting. Oh, that one. 
Ah! See, now, I'm getting hit just to get to the death button. <laughs> I'm sacrificing safety to try and save my safety. The, the logic is admittedly flawed. I am literally risking my safety to try and be more safe. And I will always do that. <laughs> this is definitely a room I want to do. Spawns two batteries, potentially really good later on. Not, not very good right now. Okay, so this guy, I've got an idea for this dude. We hit him like that, and then we just do that. Yeah, there you go. That worked really well. Go flies. Oh, there's more? Why, why is there more? Ooh, cell hearts. What the hell? I'll take them. Oh, these dudes are bff as well? Hell yes. BFF is amazing. We've got little big tiny buddies. <laughs> I love that. See, now that that death um, that death thing in that room, I don't actually know if that was intentional because it was right in the center of the room. So it feels like it was maybe intentional. Ooh, I'm not a fan of this. <laughs> nah, it's, it's, it's pretty much fine. The only bit I'm worried about is that back wall. And, do you know what? I think that's a little better, because if we get a thingy room, we can use that. Sack room. We can utilize the hell out of that. Come on, my dippy dippies. 100% chance to spawn sewing machines and shops. Can't really get to that, unfortunately, right now. If we had a bomb, we could maybe jump it over, but... But right now, we're a bit stuck in the water for that one. Go on, my dips. Create more. Oh, it's just so perfect in rooms like that. So perfect. And I just don't want to deal with an enemy. A really annoying one. It's just like, well, here's a death button to instantly kill them. This one's just like a easy room anyways. Eh, not great, but it is BFF'd at least. It is BFF'd at least. If we could get one more penny from somewhere... We could maybe make another shop reroll work. Trying to think where that could be from. Oh, there you go. There we go. Right, let's do another shop reroll. See what we can get. Either buy another soul heart or an item. And this is where the D stock is like pretty, pretty amazing. Hmm. I'll buy this. Does it give us three coins? And let us buy that. Beautiful. And that's a really good way of getting all stats up. Okay. We only have one shop left, but I still think that's pretty good going. Ooh, this champion version looks cool. I am going to play it risky. Okay, it doesn't matter, doesn't matter. I was going to play it risky. Now I'm not. Haha. -ha. Binky, you beautiful bastard. That's actually really nice. It's good damage and tears up there. Do, 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 do. I'm loving it. I think after this episode, as long as I don't have too much else to do work-wise, which I shouldn't because it's pretty much the end of, end of the work day now. Well, kind of. It's getting there. It's like three or four. Um, no, I'm going to stop it like... Between, between four and six, depending on how much needs to be done. Um, but um, I might actually go back out again and play some more Pokemon Go. <laughs> because I, I kind of want to get out because the weather's nice. Um, and I had, a, I had a lot of fun earlier. <laughs> I had a lot of fun. Alright, crack this. This episode might run a little bit longer than normal. Probably like an hour and 15 or so. Ho oh, ho ho, that was a perfect bombing there. These little jumpy shits. Do you want to jump on me? There you go. Okay, not too bad. E more pennies means the shops can work for us better. We'll check out this shop and see what we get. Blue maps got some got some sauce. That didn't hit. 
Oof. Duplicate our keys is pretty de decent here. I'll check to see if we've got a sack room first, but I'm kind of tempted to just use my um, Soul of the Forgotten on the Blood Donation Machine, which I still can't remember if it works, but I'm going to assume that it does. You see? It's got these bloody red buttons everywhere. It's awesome. There's one in this room too. <laughs> yes. 11% chance, people. And I just got three in a row. I am a lucky boy. There's one, there was one in this room too. I got four in a row. Five in a row. Ipecac. Hell yes. I almost certainly take Ipecac. Although, Ipecac did not give me 40 damage. How do I do this again? There you go. Yeah, Ipecac did not give me 40 damage. I'm... With Flatstone, this is going to be interesting. This is a full reroll. I'm actually not interested. I will take this, though. Shot speed down, which is... Good? No. Nah, it's kind of good. Okay, with Flatstone, this is this is really interesting. It's dangerous as shit. It's very dangerous. I don't know if it's because of Flatstone that I didn't... Also, the, the, the ones that are circling around me. Oh, God. Look at them. Look at them. They're, <laughs> they're on the way down. Oh, Lord. Just never let them fall. Um. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I think it's Flatstone that's making it not have 40 damage. Either that or it's Libra. I'm not sure which one it is. I'm going to guess it's Libra. But I like this Flatstone thing we got going on right now. Okay. Just make sure whenever we shoot, we don't walk forward as we shoot. Because that will just walk us straight into our own shots. But this... Is an interesting synergy now. We've got something cool going on. I just did exactly what I should have said I shouldn't do, but luckily I didn't get hit. <laughs> this is so cool. This is such a cool little build. Right. Not quite enough money for the shop. We did not get a sack room, which means I will try and use my... Um, Soul of Forgotten on the Blood Donation Machine and see how that works. I think we should take Blue Map now that we have unlimited bombs. First things first, let's let's do this first. Let's just go. That didn't blow him up. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, he can play this good. Good bit of money there. Lovely. Look at that. Oh, that was a purchase as well. I forgot about that. Uh, I'll go back and get my secret rooms here. I think it's worthwhile. I think it's very worthwhile. I kind of wish the game had... Um, I realise that we don't really need it. But I kind of wish the game had like one extra secret room. Not, the, not one that always showed up. But a secret room that basically was like, it, it no matter what you had, no matter what you did, it was never marked on the map and you could just sometimes find them. They were like, like, sort of like ultra secret rooms kind of thing. Ooh, quarter. That opens up some avenues for us. Oh, fucking, who did this? There's an NFT in this, this room. Who put the NFT in this room? Ow. Wait a minute. I kind of want to use my, my space bar in here and see what happens, but I also kind of don't. I can't believe these guys have survived one bomb. Okay, let's go back. Don't think we want any more shot speed down, please. 
cut little baby bombs. Come in your way. Come in your way, little baby bombs. See, I like that worked out. Right, so... Let me first do that. That's very good. I will take that. Then... I think we just do a regular reroll. I think we definitely buy that. Hmm. And then I think we go boom, boom, and boom. And then just see what we get. I'm actually pretty happy with that. I'll take it. And then just to spend money, I'll also buy that. Right, this secret room here needs entering. Look at him go. <laughs> I love this. This is a fun little build we got going on. I can't re-roll it though because for one it's great, but for two it would be a very dumb idea to re-roll because we'll def definitely just get all planetarium items because of that bug. <laughs> this is great. Now we just need an explosion immunity just in case. Take the Polaroid, and away we go, Polaroid. Okay, we got XL, that's actually good. I did take damage there because I walked a little too far, but that was fine. Okay, so we should be going up here. We should. It always tricks you, you never really know. Honestly as well, if we can bomb through rooms, I kind of think we should. Like we don't have to do it with every single room, but it's kind of like, well if we can. Look at my shots go. There's a golden troll bomb in here too. Golden heart, golden troll bomb, what don't you need? Right, kind of intrigued to find something out here. Uh, let's actually do some rooms. Dude, I keep getting hit by some bullshit here. Right, so, that secret room was a shop. I wonder if the gear actually classifies it as a shop. It does not. Damn it. That would have been cool, but I had to try. Yeah, I was wondering if because the visuals were a shop, if it counted as a shop. It's good to know these things. By the way, a few people have asked, I believe this, um, this Grimace just heals enemies that are in the room. It's almost in entirely useless. I've never really seen it being like effective at all. I've never really noticed its effects in any way, shape, or form, so it's like kind of like, well, okay, <laughs> it's there, I guess. But yeah, it's kind of kind of pointless. I think it's one of the Ipecac has a lot of these sort of strange enemy designs and things that even they have said themselves need to be reworked or scrapped or whatever. So I think it's kind of one of those leftover remnants where it still hasn't been really, really like touched in a while, uh, but it, it it very very much ought to be. What hit me then? I'm getting hit so much I have no idea what's doing it. Where the hell's my boss? <laughs> I thought I'd have seen it by now. And I got hit again. I need to stop trying to bomb through rooms because all I'm doing is hurting myself. A cell heart doesn't really help me that much. Dude, what? Door, open. What the hell? Bomb this door. 
Okay. I'm guessing there's a mini boss in there. Because it just will not let me bomb that door. Yeah, there is. Oh my lord, I'm gonna die. I just keep hitting myself. I admit, it's very hard not to. <laughs> it's very hard not to. Let's destroy some of these poops here. See if we can get anything out of them. Just a sore heart or something. Sadly not. Oh, is this going to be a two-loss episode? It kind of feels like it so far. <laughs> I'll be honest. I've got I've been hit so much on this floor specifically. <gasps> Soul heart. I need to go back for that. Thank you, sir. I did forget this was an XL floor, which does explain why it's so ridiculously large. So this guy's going to be a bit of a pain. Also, I'm so tiny, I can barely ever see myself. That wasn't so bad. And I actually think it's about time we get rid of D-Stock and take this. Gives us an all stats up just for having it. And we can do stuff like this. Which I don't know if it will technically count as using it multiple times. Probably not right. Like with um, electric dice and car battery. I don't know how that works. I don't know if it will spawn more light beams or... Whoa. I am very tiny, which means it's very easy to dodge a lot of these shots. In fact, most of them are going straight out of my head. I, I really can't see what's going on right now. I'm, I'm just spamming keys and hoping I don't get hit. And it seems to be working. Yeah, we are actually, like, quite weak. <laughs> Something I'm noticing. Got hit right towards the end there, but only on my uh, thingy. Devil deal. Oh, how I missed you. No, didn't want you at all. God damn it, go away. <laughs> right. Um, Kind of in the home stretch now. I don't know if we'll live. Based on the womb, I'll say it's unlikely. Okay, okay. It's also very hard to actually aim. Is something I'm, that I'm, I'm noticing specifically. That does a lot of damage. That's very nice. This could be good. No black heart, sadly. Veracus veins. Really? Not very good for us. I was hoping for more of a sacred heart sort of vibe, but... Can't always get what you want. I can evaluate the rooms and know when I need to use my space bar and stuff. So, it should be pretty helpful to have. That was not one of the rooms where I needed to use it. I was like, oh, well, I'll evaluate and see which rooms I needed in. And then immediately use it in a room that was completely unnecessary to use it in. I think I'm going the wrong way here. Yeah, I am. But, I might be very glad that I did. I am potentially, as long as I don't get hit a bunch here, which, you know what? No, I gained health out of that. I gained health out of that. God damn it. <laughs> I'm trying, I promise. That's a lot of holy poops. Holy hell. Um... I mean, I can kill this guy for my next angel piece. Kind of nice. There's a soul heart too. I don't know if I'll even be able to do Mega Satan, honestly, but I now have the option. Wow. Thank you, Infamy, for saving me there.
Okay, I just love the amount of explosions. That did not do a lot at all, did it? This might be a slightly long fight. I think a lot of the time what I'm getting hit by is the swirling Ipecac shots above my head from a Mortal Heart. They're just landing down, like, ridiculously close to me and there's not much I can do to avoid them. Like, they are missing sometimes, but some of them get just close enough to hit. Dude, what? Why would they let me get let go of that bomb then? Some bullshit. I was holding a bomb over my head and it was just like, nope, just gonna hold it. Just gonna hold it here. Got a hit there, it's okay though. I think we've got him. Look at the amount of Hippocat shots above my head right now. There's just a swirling pool of death looming above me that could drop and ruin my life. Bag of trash unlocked. Thanks for calling it like it is, game. <laughs> Thanks for telling me what I am. Well, 2020, kind of intriguing. I will do this for half a heart or a full heart, whatever it ends up being. Number one is an all stats down, I think. No, 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 no I think it was an all stats up, actually. I don't think I'm going to do Mega Certain. I'll be honest. I don't think it's me. This little dude has Holy Mantle. Why? Sausig! Give me Sausig! Sausig gives me life. Because it's kind of interesting how Libra changes all stats up. Even though they're already all stats up. <laughs> we are doing a lot of damage when we hit stuff. Another Solar Lilith here. Incubus. Oh, God. I really should have played that machine. I kind of intended to, but I, I forgot about explosives. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. This guy must be played. 100%. That is not what I was looking for, though. Kind of weird that that's even in his pool. Doesn't seem like an item that should be in his pool at all. Yeah, we are firing, like, literally, like, one, two, three, four more shots than we were before each time we fire. So we, our damage has gone up by a lot. But that does mean there's now a lot more shots looming above us. You two eternal, you've got to go. Also now with the Incubus Delay, it's making things a, li a little trickery trickier in some rooms. Like when Incubus is lagging behind us a little bit. No items. At least sometimes that happens. I just want to get some, like, really good poops going. That's a hold. That's a throw. That's a throw. I just want a holy poop. Okay.
Good, good. Give me a holy poop. I need it. I tried to get that on him there, but it didn't really work. My little dude finally died. I don't know how he survived this long, I'll be honest, but he did. There's a holy poop. Dude, it broke straight away. Are you kidding me? Where am I? I don't even know where I am most of the time. Once he starts teleporting, it's going to be problematic. I'm just hoping the invincibility is enough to get me through this, but I don't think it will be. I genuinely don't know where I am most of the time. I'm like one hit looming away from death right now. Hand-me-downs unlocked. Holy hell, that was a stressful run. I hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I'll see you guys in the next one.